November 1st here in Minnesota and this is my first trapping escapade for the year. I'll give you a quick rundown of it. Uh, it's just some fall trapping. It's gonna be some good weather for a while so there's no ice in our future, which I'd really like to go and do some fishing. But anyway, so got this guy's house right here. Um, he has real bad beaver problems and he's been trying to, he's been trying to trap the beaver himself. Um, he caught one small one. He had one sprung trap, so I'm kind of scared for that because I'm using 330s out here today. So it'll kind of give you an idea of what, what uh, he's been using. That's that's what he's that's what he's just been doing. A couple sticks like that. You know, through there. Not you know, it doesn't even doesn't even put it by where they're we're feeding at or anything. So I don't know. I'm gonna try try to use 330s in here. If it doesn't work, I'll put some snares in. But uh anyway. Yeah, I'll I'll get over here quick. <clears throat> Give you a quick. There's a dam right here. You can see it right there. Small lodge. Two runs coming out of the front of it. I'm gonna set two 330s on the entrance to that lodge. There's another big lodge below the dam down here someplace that I'm gonna go find. Um, Cause there's a dam down there that's four feet tall, three feet tall and 70 yards long. And these two, these are probably two year olds. They definitely didn't do that. So anyway, I'm gonna go over here, shoot some video for you guys. I'm actually gonna use my GoPro. Uh, try to get like the, like the point of view on me setting the traps. You know, tell me what you guys think about that. Um, then you can actually see exactly how I'm setting them and I'll explain it as I do it. So Let's get to it All right, this trap here now guys. We're gonna do this a little bit differently. Okay, same uh, same idea, but a little bit differently There's that set over there that I just made Okay now on these some of these runs like this run is very narrow where you you can't get two blocking off sticks in there and get this trap in there without it hitting one of the two so what in this scenario what I like, what I like to do is Got the run here, nice hard bottom. Now on the outside stick, I put that blocking off stick on there, okay? Now remember, now, now blocking off sticks are just basically there to, to channel these beaver into the traps, okay? Um, and, and like, and these are just basic sets that you can use to take beaver anywhere. There are more advanced sets um, <clears throat> that you can use. And when I say more advanced, I mean, I don't know how much more advanced you can really get, you know? I see, I see a lot of trappers commenting on stuff, and they're like, oh, you know, those aren't the, those aren't the, you know, the sets to take the matriarchs out of lodges. Well, I mean, no disrespect to any of them, but that's total BS. Um, the only thing you would do differently is, you know, beaver get trap shy. You know, I would make this exact same set and replace it with a snare. And in any scenario, you know, you're gonna, you're gonna catch the big beaver, you know. Made where you know whether it's a run on the lodge or you know a lot. I know a lot of you guys can't trap on the lodges, um, but you know where they're where they're coming out of the water, cutting trees. You know a snare a snare anywhere will take any beaver. Um, it's just a matter of you know how much blocking off you use. You know if the beaver are really smart, really tra trap shy, they're you know they're going to see all these sticks and go uh oh you know. So you might have to you know just use a snare support you know with a you know a 40 inch T-bar stake and a couple swivels on your on your snare. Um, the only thing the beaver don't recognize, they don't, you know, once they start getting trap smart, they recognize if an area has been messed with a lot, you know. Um, so, but this, I mean, this basic set here, I've honestly, I'd say I've probably caught between, I don't know, you know, probably, I don't know, between three and 4,000 beaver my entire life. So I've been trapping beaver since I was about 15, you know, and I'll be 38 this year. And I, that's all I do, but... Well, on rats, you guys see. Anyway, so here's my here's this trap. What I'm going to do is I'm going to look at this and say, okay, that's about how much room I need. So I'm going to actually, technically, I'm going to use this, my stake, as my other blocking off stick. I'm going to go down here, go over, find the other edge of this run, and just shove this down in here, just like, just like that. So not only is it my blocking off stick, it's also my stake. You can dang near, you can dang near see my trap down there in the water. And tomorrow, you know, I got a waterproof casing for this. I might even bring that with and try to shoot some underwater video, video of the beaver. But I can see, gosh, I'm going to get right down in here. You guys probably can't see it. I can see the jaws right here. This is be, be so easy when the water's clear. See this? I'm moving the trap back and forth. There it is. Got my stake right between the jaws. I'm going to swing it right back to right where I want it. Okay. This run kind of goes up this way. That one goes in this way. So there's, they're going to have... On this side of this big clump of roots, they have one hole coming out of this house and it splits. and goes this way, this way. Two 330s out after these beaver in both their runs. 
coming out of the lodge. Wired off, everything's good to go. That's what my set looks like. There's the lodge there. Here's this small feed pile. I mean, it's just a tiny pond. The end of the pond's like right there, you know. Down there. There we go. Down to the next pond. Um, when I catch beer in the morning, what I'm going to do is I am going to shoot the video. Like, the next video you're going to see is these catches, okay? So I'm going to do setups, then catches on each place. So, yes. We set this lodge yesterday. Little guy here. Um, got a 3.30 right down there in, the, in, the, in this run coming out of the lodge. I can see that there's nothing um, in that trap, but... I can see, plain as day, there's a beaver floating right there. I'm gonna switch to my GoPro, do a little underwater action. Let's see how that looks, huh? So here's going to be set location number one. You can see right here, you can see where the beaver just bored a path right through here to go up up this hill here, cutting all these trees down. So I'm actually going to make a dive set here. I mean, I could I could throw a kind of bear in there and block it off, hope they swim in here, hope they're dumb. I mean, that could be the ch chance. But today I'm going to try something a little different. Got this big log laying here. And what I'm going to do is... Set this log off to the side, okay? Got my stake, got a couple sticks here. So what I'm actually gonna do is make a diving, a diving set right here. These are fairly easy to make. I mean, <clears throat> shove a stick down to the bottom. When I do this, I try to make it so, that, so the beaver can't see the top of these sticks. I like it when they just swim up to it and see a trap or see a log in the water they have to dive under so you pretty much block off both sides of the area <clears throat> and get away from this log here a little bit and you want these traps really or you want these sticks kind of close together because when i make mine there's two there's two different ways of making it actually um this is my way well there's two different ways you can either run a, you can either run a stick right through the top of these eye rings and set the stick down and the trap can swing back and forth whoops sorry the trap can swing back and forth free, freely or my way I got my kind of bear here Here we go like there make sure and take off your safeties of course okay now what I do is put my put my springs over the traps these 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 two sticks are right are in the bottom fairly fairly deep okay I shove my kind bear down below the water a ways now you can see my trap down there it's below the water, I don't know, probably two or three inches maybe. And I'm going to take this big log right here. Oh, I'm going to put it right across in front of the trap. Just like this, okay? 
So generally they see this log, they come up and they're gonna, they're gonna drop and swim underneath this. Got my stake here, I'm just gonna drive that in the ground. Away is, there we go. Wired off around it. This set is mostly finished, but I, you know, you wanna take, take some sticks and some grass, you know, just something so the beaver you want you kind of I mean you want to channel the beaver into this trap still initially, but let's see here. So I'm gonna take some I'm just gonna put some grass over the log here. So when they come up, you know it's gonna still gonna center them into this into this conibear bear boat like that. You know, here you go. I'll back up a little bit. <clears throat> Get right down here. You can see that 330 right there, that Belial. And there's the look the beaver going to have. So tomorrow when we come out and check this, hopefully, you're going to see a beaver floating right about here. That kind of bear is perfectly placed. That's set number one. Well, let's head down and there's a bank den down here that I want you guys to see me set quick. And they're, they're quick, easy sets. You know, how long did that take me? A minute, 30 seconds. So we're back here at this pond today. Um, had the bank, bank den set and a dive stick set over here where they're up cutting trees at. I can see beaver floating in the first set already. Here we go. There was that set from yesterday I told you about. Right there, right there. There's that dive stick. Made short work of that beaver, huh? Got him right by the head too. That looks like a, that's a good sized beaver. Nice. All right, we got our John boat here. I'm out on a, it's actually a nuisance call. Um, county has me out here trapping some beaver for him. And out around the point here, there's a giant culvert, actually a six-foot culvert that they're, that they're blocking up. And they had someone else here trapping, and the beaver just kept plugging all their sets up, to be honest. So they called me and said, hey, can you give it a try? I said, sure. But people, the people who were over there trapping, they just, you know, they, they didn't want to come out in the water. They were just trying to set it around the culvert, which is fine, but, you know, I'm out here. These are hard bottomed runs here, you know. There's one right down here below me. Um, I got this blocking stick off, or this blocking stick, um, not off, but gosh, I'm gonna get this. There's a big log here that's in my way. Get this out of the way if I can. Well, I guess it's out of my way. It's not uh, in the run anymore anyway. Gosh. This happens sometimes too. So I got this stick, got this stick in here, way in the bottom. Now that I got that log out of the way, I can get quite a bit closer to this lodge and get up in there. Got that one in there. Now, oh, look at that. Soul stick. Got that one in there. This lodge is, you can tell that this lodge has been here for a long time. A lot of old sticks on it, you know, and these ones, these ones like this can be a pain in the butt just because there's so many sticks in the runs. But, got my Belial 330 here, all ready to rock. This run comes out right on the bottom, of course. Hard sand. Let me get this trap placed down in here. Okay, okay, yep, uh-huh. Okay, yep. So I'll push this stick in the bottom just a little bit. Now, I'll find out where my trap is. Okay, my trap is 
right there. Let me swing it over. Okay, just making sure it doesn't, uh, making sure it's not hitting, hitting my other blocking off stick. Okay, got my wire there. I'm just going to shove a stick in the bottom, wire that off. There we go. Get my swivel stick in there. Shove that in the bottom. And there you go. That's that's what my sets look like. You know, there's the beaver lodge right there. One here. There's a run on the other side of the lodge over there. We'll go over there and set that in a minute. Kind of peter in here, right above this run. I don't know if there could, well, there could be one. No, there's not one down there. Oh, I got a beaver right there. Beaver in that 330. Holy. Good Lord, just set this trap. Just set this trap, big beaver. Holy crap. Wow, that's a huge beaver. God, I got him right by the head too. Well, I'm out here. On this lodge, doing some nuisance trapping for the county. Just set this trap two minutes ago. Yep, you see it? You see what I see? That Belial, uh, that's a big beaver too. Whoa! Just set this beaver lodge here. Do some nuisance trapping. Look at that. Set the lodge. Went over there to set another run on the lodge. Wham. That's a big beaver. A big beaver. Oh, God. Look at that. Ha. That's awesome. So I caught a beaver out there in a 330 here last week these beaver have been pretty smart um they're damming up the road and they're trapped they're trapped smart so i put a couple snares in this dam actually before the dam you can see the the county rip part of the dam out here i got two snares in the lodge hoping to get that beaver and a conna bear but i had a snare here that the, that this big female otter got caught up in uh twisted up but i got her i didn't get her right by the head with this snare here so, I mean, that's, <clears throat> trapping season is open. It's November 9th, so it's not like it's a, it's a bad thing. You know, I'll just call it a bonus critter. Anyway, I'm gonna reset this snare here, and uh, hopefully on the next check we'll have, a, we'll have a beaver, you know, or out in the lodge out there. Anyway, bonus otter, baby.